Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jermaine Reed, a member of the City Council from the 3rd District. And it's so good to see so many people here to celebrate uh, such a good day. If I could have everybody's attention as much as possible. Again, thank you all so much for joining us as we celebrate our city's birthday. And I would like to start off by recognizing the members of the City Council who have joined us, and I'm sure many others will be coming down as today is a busy day uh, to be doing this. But first, our mayor, who of course is here, Mayor Sly James, uh, City Councilwoman Melba Curls, uh, Councilman Jim Glover, and Councilman John Sharp, who is here. And of course, our city manager who leads us here, uh, Troy Schulte. And if uh, there's any other council members who come, I'll certainly recognize them as they come. But before I introduce the mayor, let me give you guys just a little history. So a little history lesson about why today is so, so important. On February 22nd, 1853, Governor Sterling Price placed his signature on a bill incorporating the city of Kansas pending the outcome of an election held March 28, 1853. So on this day, exactly 160 years ago, there were 67 voters who came together to incorporate a small area that was only 10 blocks west to east and five blocks north to south and hung a sign facing the Missouri River saying, welcome to the city of Kansas. Our borders were very small, Independence Avenue on the south, Holmes Road on the east, Missouri River on the north, and Summit Street on the west. But our dreams were really, really big. Our city was a place for peace and prosperity, a central hub that was east to west and the heart of America. And Kansas City and everyone who is here, I would suggest that we have turned our big dream into a reality and our city has had a lot of opportunity and growth. We've come here uh, to celebrate today because it's just like anybody's birthday, our anniversaries, um, our kids, just like this building. We celebrate all types of things. And so today, uh, oftentimes, we overlook our birthday. And so it's important that we celebrate 160 years of birth of the city of Kansas City, Missouri. And while most metropolitan areas are facing some serious financial problems, our city is still sound and we're still growing. Our city's technology is becoming an envy of the world. Our fire and police department uh, is the best in the nation. And our city satisfaction surveys are very, very high. But most importantly, we have accomplished these without sacrificing the city's distinct culture and style. And we live in a city of opportunity, and we, it's an honor for me uh, to be able to stand here along with my colleagues to be a part of our history in the story of Kansas City. And with that, it gives me a great honor to introduce the person who leads our great city as the mayor of Kansas City, Missouri, Mayor Sly James. Good afternoon, and I appreciate everybody coming out to celebrate the city's birthday. Uh, I happen to believe that we're pretty fortunate in this city, and in the last year, I think we've seen some amazing things happen. We've been able to institute programs and policies and practices that help the city grow. Uh, we are instituting things that connect us better to our citizens. One of my favorite events of all time was the past year of hosting the All-Star Game here in Kansas City that Major League Baseball says was the best All-Star Game they've ever had. We had 10,000 people from all over the world descend on Kansas City. Just tens of thousands, I should say, not 10,000. Tens of thousands descend on Kansas City from all over the world. And the most favorite thing I heard when I was talking to people was this kind of weird look in their eye, and they'd say, I had no idea. Well, they didn't because they hadn't heard about Kansas City in its currently constituted form. <clears throat> when they came here, they got to go and see all of the amazing venues, all of the great things that we have that we see every day. Sometimes we see them so much we take them for granted but they got to see them for the first time. And it is an impressive sight when you first get a chance to see the Nelson Gallery. It is impressive when you have a chance to walk through 18th and Vine and soak up that jazz, soak up the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. 
All of those things are impressive. We do have the top 10 downtown in Kansas City. We do have a beautiful city with trees and grass and buildings that other cities would die for. When you go to other cities and see that they've torn down their old buildings and they look really nice with a lot of glass, brick, and concrete, and you come here and you see the character of this city, you know we've been around for 160 years. I want to thank John Sharp for being our representative from that time ago when the first <laughs> vote was taken. <laughs> if you look closely, you'll probably see his signature on the incorporating documents. John knows I love him. <laughs> we also have some things that, although we've done some great things in the past, the really great part of Kansas City is our future. We have established ourselves as an entrepreneurial haven. Google Fiber has set us on a different course. Young people fight to get into Kansas City. I was at the Kauffman Center, or the Kauffman Foundation, when I met four kids who had driven from Boston in order to create and work and perfect on their software to create a better system of 3D printing that would be usable in, consum in consumer homes. Four 19-year-olds drove all the way from Boston to be in Kansas City. The interesting thing is, it, it's happening all the time. Launch KC has set entrepreneurs on a different course. UMKC and the Block School are world-renowned. We have an incubator, we have the digital sandbox, we have our first uh, chief innovation um, op operator, chief innovation officer in Ashley Hand. He's standing up there, wave Ashley, wave. You guys ought to get to know Ashley. She's actually a very interesting person who has tremendous ideas and loves working with people. And she's here to help us all work better together and to help us work better with our citizens. So we have a lot in the past that we should be very grateful for. And we should always be grateful. We always can find a reason to complain about what we don't have, but we also need to look at all the great things we do have and be grateful for that. In addition, we ought to be looking forward and being optimistic and happy and very excited about the things that we have going forward because we're on a different trajectory and we're going to be on a, a rocket path to taking our place in this, in this country the way we should be. So I want to thank everybody for being here and for what you do. Happy birthday to the city and everybody in it. And please, 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 please remember that whenever you have the chance to tell the real good story of Kansas City, you do so. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Mayor James. At this time, City uh, Manager Troy Schulte. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Reed. It's, uh, again, on behalf of the staff, it's very nice to welcome everybody to our 160th birthday uh, party. Thank you to the General Services Department for buying the cake. Two cakes out of in about three months, that ain't bad for us. Uh, uh, I just want to, again, echo the comments that the mayor made and recognize the work that the city council does every day. Uh, this city has a great uh, future. We've come a long ways. When one of the first names, if you go back and read the history books, 160 years ago, one of the first names thrown out for the city of Kansas City at that time was City of Possum Trot. So I think we've, I think they made a wise choice back then and we're making an even better choice now. And I'll, I'll just leave you with a comment that my grandmother said on her 90th birthday, her birthday when we said, how does it feel to be 90 years old? 90 year old? She said, there's a lot of vinegar left in here in these here bones, and I think that's exactly the. Uh, there, she also mentioned one other thing that was in the bones too, but we won't leave it. Um, but I think that raises the indication that there's still a lot of spirit, a lot of energy, a lot of passion left in this city. So here's to the next 160 years for Kansas City. So thank you very much. As the mayor and the city managers mentioned, we are joined by a couple of members of the city council. Uh, and at this time, I'll ask Councilman Sharp if you have, to have a few words. Well, thank you, Councilman Reed. Uh, I greatly appreciate Councilman Reed taking the initiative to, to have this birthday party. And I think I probably should clarify, I really wasn't here 160 years ago. Um, I, I felt I had to say that because recently I, I talked to a high school group and I prefaced my remarks by saying, well, back when I was your age, before trains, planes, and automobiles, and they all believed it. 
<laughs> so I, I had to kind of say, well, wait, I was just kidding. But uh, when you look at, at a map of this area back when Kansas City was founded, there were a lot of cities that all started out kind of about the same. And, and nobody really knew which cities would grow and which cities wouldn't. And a lot of those cities have faded away. And Kansas City has grown. And we continue to grow. Now we're blessed with, with a great transportation hub here. Something that I think sometimes we take for granted because we've got a great highway network, one of the greatest rail networks in the nation. We've got a navigable river out here that we need to reopen the port for. But those things have really helped us, but it's decisions that are made by elected officials in cities that determine whether they grow or whether they fade away. And fortunately, our predecessors, and I hope we are doing this too, are making the right decisions, so we'll continue to grow. Thank you so much for joining us today. The true, true, true history buff of the city council was uh, Councilman Jim Glo uh, Glover. So, Councilman Glover, I'm sure you probably were here. Let's give it up for Councilman Glover. You know, I, this is a great city and it's wonderful to celebrate its birthday and look forward to the future. Um, but reflecting a little bit on the past, one of the reasons that we did become a great city and started off was building a transportation. The Hannibal Bridge crossing the Missouri River happened because a bunch of citizens took it, took the initiative to go to New York and get that done um, with private contributions. That distinguished us from Leavenworth or um, St. Joe. That's when it all really started to be done. This council under the leadership of um, Mayor James and uh, with the council lead being taken by Russ Johnson has moved forward with fixed rail. Um, we're going to build that line and we're going to distinguish the city and rebuild the city around that line. We're exploring alternative um, expansions both east-west and north-south. We made a, a very good presentation to North Kansas City. Mayor and I and Russ went up and I think that's turning out good and we have every intention of going south as well as east-west. That's going to be a momentous move for the city and um, 160 years from now people will be celebrating that move and talking about uh, it in the same breath as the Hannibal Bridge I think. So uh, have some cake celebrate our past and look forward to the future. Thank you, Councilman Glover. Councilwoman uh, Melville Curls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. I was thinking about 160 years. I'm not quite that old, but uh, I've been around quite a while and I'm al I've always been proud of Kansas City and I always tell people I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, and they say, oh, Missouri, now, do you know so-and-so in St. Louis? I said, no, I'm, that's the whole other side of the state. So I always tell the story and I encourage you to tell the story as well because it's a good story to tell. Thanks again. see one of my other colleagues who have joined us, Councilman Ed Ford. Uh, you'll have the last word unless anyone else comes down. So Councilman Ford. Well, happy 160th birthday to Kansas City. You don't look a day older than 150. <laughs> and what, what do they say? Uh-huh. That 160 is the new 140th. <laughs> It's hard to believe we're only uh, 40 years away from the uh, bicentennial. So it's a great city, a lot of history, and it's proud of states to come. Thank you.
Well, with that, a big thank you to uh, my staff who helped plan this party. Marcus Leach is who in the back. Marcus Leach, excuse me, who's in the back. Uh, in addition to the city manager staff and our general services department for doing this. Uh, so with that, let's follow Councilwoman Curls' league and enjoy the rest of the cake and punch. Happy birthday, Kansas City.